students today we'll see about anti arrhythmic agents first we'll see what is meant by arrhythmia so we can divide that into a rhythm so that is abnormality in rhythm so what is that it is a deviation of heart from normal rhythm that can be called as arrhythmia otherwise we can say it is a condition in which the heart beats with an irregular or abnormal rhythm that is irregular that abnormal no that may be too fast or too slow so that can be called as arrhythmia so what would be the normal heart rate that is between 60 to 100 beats per minute okay if it is very slow that is below 60 beats per minute means that can be called as bradycardia if it is too fast that is above 100 beats per minute no that can be called as tachycardia now we will see about anti arrhythmic agents they are used to prevent or treat disorders of cardiac rhythm so they are called anti arrhythmic agents ok now we will see the classification of anti arrhythmic agents so it is divided into four types first one is membrane depressant drugs second one beta adrenergic blocking agents repolarization prolongators and calcium channel blockers so we'll see the first one that is membrane depressant drugs okay so they are otherwise called as membrane stabilizing agents so in these one no they are they are blocking sodium channels okay so it is having three subtypes three class subclasses okay class 1a 1b and 1c already we have known cardiac action potential so here already we have known cardiac action potential so we have known the phases of action potential 0 1 2 3 4 no so here so this one no class 1a drugs it slows phase 0 depolarization whereas class 1b it shortens phase 3 repolarization class 1c it markedly slows phase 0 depolarization and now come to this one class 1a that is intermediate rate of dissociation from sodium channels class 1b rapid rate of dissociation for this one the rate of dissociation from sodium channel would be rapid and in the case of a class 1c that would be very slow and here in the case of class 1a that would be intermediate so rapid slow and intermediate okay and examples for class 1a drugs cunidine procainamide and disopramide under 1b lidocaine mexalitin tocainide under 1c flicainide enkainide propafenone and morizicin okay now come to second one that is class 2 that, that is beta adrenergic blocking agents they slow phase 4 depolarization and the examples are propranolol azibutolol esmolol latinolol timolol metoprolol and sotolol now we'll see phase 3 that is repolarization prolongators it prolongs it prolongs the phase 3 repolarization that is why they are called repolarization prolongators and it also prolong, prolongs the duration of action potential the examples are amiodarone, brutilium, dofetilide, ibutilide and the last one is calcium channel blockers they slow phase 4 depolarization examples are verapamil and diltiazem ok now we will see the first drug that is called quinidine look at the structure of quinidine already we have known this ring is called as quinoline ring and this ring no that can be called quiniclidine so look at this one this is called quiniclidine ok so how the structure is it is a bicyclic system that is having nitrogen as the heteroatom how many atoms are here totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so totally 8 uh, 8 atoms are there that's why it is called bicyclooctane and in first position it is having nitrogen that's why it is called 1 as a bicyclooctane 1 as a bicyclooctane so what is the chemical name for quiniclidin that is called 1 as a bicyclooctane so it is the uh, it is having two rings okay so this one already we have known this is called as quinoline and this one is called quiniclidin so these two moieties should be connected by means of hydroxymethyl group these two are connected by means of hydroxymethyl group so this is the base uh, these two are having nitrogens both are basic um, basic nitrogens okay so by comparing these two this would be stronger so by comparing the basicity the basicity for this one would be very strong okay and here we have quiniclidin no in the fifth portion of quiniclidin it is having vinyl group and this quinoline is having methoxy group at sixth portion so what are all present in quinidine it is having quinoline nucleus and also quiniclidine nucleus and that two are connected by means of hydroxymethyl group and quinoline is having a methoxy group and quiniclidine is having vinyl group so we can tell the chemical name so what would be the basic taken here that would be methanol so with the methanol only quinoline and quiniclidine would be attached so we have to tell 6 methoxy quinoline 4 yl 4th portion would be attached that's why 4 yl and here 
this is called quinacridin so fifth portion is attached with vinyl so 5 vinyl quinacridin 2 yl methanol so that is the chemical name already we have known this is a synchona alkaloids from synchona we are getting four alkaloids they are quinine quinidin synchonin synchonidin these two are isomers and these two are isomers so this quinine no already we have known it is an isomer of quinidin so it is a dextro rotatory this word is very very important dextro rotatory diastereo isomer of quinine okay and it is a prototype for this anti arrhythmic agent so it combines with i mean it binds with open ion channels and decreases sodium current that that is it is decreasing the entry of sodium into the myocardial cell and depresses phase 4 depolarization and it is direct cardiac depression property okay and it is having mild anticholinergic action He, it's a levo isomer no that is used as an anti arrhythmic agent it is used in the treatment of atrial and ventricular arrhythmia but it is not no, not used now it is rarely used now so because of the adverse effect effects like tosidus d points what is that it is the abnormal heart rhythm that can lead to sudden cardiac death so now we'll see the next one that is called prokinamide look at the structure of prokinamide so this one so what is present so this is benzamide benzene ring co and h2 that is the basic nucleus we have taken for nomenclature so that is benzamide with the benzamide para portion we have amino group and here we have ethyl and second carbon of ethyl is connected with di ethyl amino group so what is the name chemical name para amino with the nitrogen only this will be attached so n second carbon of ethyl will be attached with that so that's why n open bracket 2 di ethyl amino ethyl benzamide so it is having structural similarity with the prokine so look at pro uh, the structure of prokine and compare this with prokinamide everything would be same here we have amide but here we have ester so that is the difference so it is used as a local anesthetic already we have known prokine is a local anesthetic agent this no prokinamide it has limited effect as an anti arrhythmic agent why why means because of the cns side effects and short lived action now we'll see the synthesis of prokinamide so what would be taken for the synthesis this we have known without no2 it is called benzoyl chloride so four nitro benzoyl chloride would be taken and that is added with n with the nitrogen only two ethyl so n n di ethyl this is called ethylene ethylene both the ends would be connected with amine that's why diamine so n n di ethyl ethylene diamine so connected with this one simply hcl is removed the left group that is nh with the whole thing that would be attached with co so that's why we got that now on reduction on reduction nitro group would be reduced to amino group that is called prokinamide so how can how can we get prokinamide they have taken four nitro benzoyl chloride that one combines with n n di ethyl ethylene diamine so simply hcl is removed the left group would be attached with the co so we got that and final uh, last step is reduction of nitro group nitro group would be reduced to amino group so we got prokinamide now we'll see the metabolism of prokinamide we have known the structure for prokinamide that one by means of the enzyme n acetyl transferase so from the name itself we can say acetyl group would be transferred to n okay so here we have with the nitrogen we have only h so instead of h acetyl would be added so this is prokinamide here and with the nitrogen acetyl is added that's why we um, it is called n acetyl prokinamide so that is the metabolite of prokinamide okay that is used in the treatment of ventricular tachycardia